What's up guys, Momo Jerry here. And last time we went over the mechanic class and the revamp and all that. Now we're gonna go over the Battle Mage. And the Battle Mage is a class that I haven't really personally went into. I never made a Battle Mage. It was a really close friend of mine who made a Battle Mage. And I kind of just used it when he wasn't on. So I didn't really get a feel of the Battle Mage. But playing it to get all the videos for you guys, it seems kind of fun, the fact that you can just hit a bunch of times with a bunch of monsters. Like, you're just taking your staff and hitting things instead of using a sword or actually using magic. You're, you know, just hitting things with your fucking staff, which is kind of funny. You know, a magic-infused staff getting clunked over the head with a thousand times in a row. But besides that, it's pretty cool. And the revamp didn't really change any of its skills much. It kind of just pushed everything around. And the Battle Mage is kind of like a party uh, oriented type of class where if you really want to get down, you go into a party and you give them these buffs. And these buffs really are pretty cool because one gives you extra attack, one gives less damage, well, one get, makes you take less damage, another one gives you more damage, another one heals you, and another one increases your speed like walking and attacking. So I kind of like this class and the revamp helped it a bit because it didn't really have a purpose you could say. Now it kind of, you're like a dark kind of class. It was pretty cool but unnecessary because you just have this little reaper behind you that's so tiny and then every like six kills against normal moss and six attacks against bosses it just comes down and goes shing which is pretty cool. But it's not a class I'm really that familiar with. I like it. I'll probably make one later. But for now, it's a class that's just kind of there. And it's a very flashy class, I'll give it that. They lost some really flashy skills like the Twister, the Tornado, whatever you want to call it. And the Genesis instead of the... It's kind of like two giant speakers in the ground. But you'll see that like in the coming week, like as you watch the video. And I like the revamp. It adds some pizzazz, some flair to the class. I guess it increases its damage a bit and its survivability. But the fact is, you can't have all the auras on at the same time. It sucks. Like before, that was a thing. Then it wasn't a thing where you have all the auras. Then it was. Now it's a thing again. And before, it was like you take all the auras and you put them into one aura, and it increases all the damage and all the effects of the auras. Now you only have one, it just kind of sucks. Yeah. But, it's an interesting class. If you guys want it, go try it out. Tell me how it is down below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, guys, I'll catch you later.